So welcome everyone to my channel which is PharmaCoach. So in today's PharmaCoach class I will be telling you about the suspension. So suspension is a biphasic liquid dosage form of medicament in which the solid particles which are also called the suspenoid are suspended in a liquid with the help of suspending agent. So solubility of the suspension is opposite to the solution. And suspension label should contain the instruction like shake well before use. So suspension ke label pe ek instruction zaruri hona chahiye which is the shake well before use. Why? Because suspension mein particles uniformly distribute nahi hote. Or suspension ek biphasic liquid dosage form hai jis mein solid particles suspended hote hai with the help of suspending agent. और इसकी सलिबिलिटी अपोजिट होती है टू दी सोल्यूशन नाउ दी अवेलेबल फॉर्म्स ऑफ सस्पेंशन सो इट मे बी रेडी टू यूज और ड्राई पाउडर सो ओरल सस्पेंशन आर रेडी टू यूज वे एज दी फोर ओरल सस्पेंशन आर नॉट रेडी टू यूज बिकॉज वी हैव टू एड द पाउडर इन दी सोलवेंट बिफोर टू यूज वाई बिकॉज ऑफ दी अनस्टेबिलिटी लाइक दोज ड्रग्स विच आर अनस्टेबल इन एक्वस वेहीकल फॉर एक्सटेंडेड पीरियड ऑफ टाइम so these are to be supplied in powder form now reasons to make the suspension so number 1 we have those drugs which are unstable in water so we do make suspension of these kind of drugs and number 2 we have those drugs which are unstable in solution form so for this type of drugs suspension is to be for example chloramphenicol because it is not stable in solution form and number third reason of making suspension is so suspension is a liquid and liquid dosage form are more preferred than solid dosage form because of easy swelling and flexibility in dose measurement and number four we have like two marks the bitter test we we do make the suspension for those kind of drug and number five we have to achieve control and sustain effect of the drug Now the disadvantages of suspension. Number 1 we have physical instability and physical unacceptable by patient than solution. And number 2 we have the handling and transport is difficult because it is a liquid dosage form right? And then we have difficult to formulate and inaccuracy in measurement of dose. Now the ideal qualities of suspension. So number 1 we have suspend wire should settle slowly and on shaking they should redisperse throughout the medium. is redispersion should be there and number 2 we have chemical physical and microbial stability and number 3 we have like viscosity of suspension should be such enough that it is it can be easily poured in the container now the types of suspension so it may be flocculated or defloculated so number 1 we have flocculated like in this the dispersed particle form flocks and these are called the loose aggregate and the sedimentation rate is high because the size of the particle become large and more weight and then we have physical less acceptable and then we have the defloculated suspension so in this the dispersed particle don't form flocks and remain as an individual particles and sedimentation rate is very low and physical more acceptable furthermore in flocculated suspension particles redisperse uniformly on shaking whereas in defloculated suspension the particles don't settle on bottom but once they settle they form hard cake which is permanent and particles not redisperse on shaking so finally we have the suspending agent so what is suspending agent so it helps in the formulation of the suspension and there are two functions of the suspension number 1 first they form film around the particles and decrease the force of interparticle attraction among the particles and second it also increase the viscosity of dispersed medium so that was all about today's lecture and if you like my video so do like and subscribe my channel which is from a coach and thanks for watching my video